What's going on everybody? Dylan Blau from the Epic Dog Pros and this is Coffee Talk Dog Training. I'm about to show up at one of my clients houses. We're going to be doing a uh, little bit of a follow through lesson to see their strengths and their weaknesses. To see how confident they are controlling their dog around their neighborhood which is kind of the most uh, anxiety prone place for them to take their dog. So we're going to go do a little checkup. We're going to see what's going on. Bo is a Czechoslovakian. We might have to edit that out. Czechoslovakian. 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 German Shepherd. This thing is beautiful. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, Bo boy. You're good. Take your time. He was in place just before you got good. here. Good. He decided to come out. That's just fine. Uh, since he was here, Bo. All right, do you want to tell me how to keep him from jumping on you? Do you have the e-collar? So the first thing you need is to be prepared. Is the e-collar even on the dog? No. Killing me. Oh, shut up. Killing me. Playing a, a hide and go seek game? Place, boat place, down. Oh, nicely done. Good. Hey, go back on place. Go place. Go. Good job, relax, relax, good. Bo. Down. Just down. had company. My aunt died this morning. Oh. We had cocktails today. Right, and my no husband worries. decided to get his clothes. It's all right. I'm gonna boost your confidence today so that way you're feeling good around the neighborhood and we'll make sure you're good to go. You did good at group class though. Good. Are you going to the bathroom? What are you doing? Posing? Oh, he goes, I'm gonna lay down. He goes, listen, I get it. Dylan comes, I'm off duty, he's on duty. And that's how fast it happens. I have a German Shepherd that I just finished training. First 10 minutes, the dog goes, all right, let me jump on place. Let me show you I can do everything. We're done. And then he walks back over, goes into the shade, and it's a German Shepherd, and he goes and lays down. He goes, you guys talk, I'm done. I did everything. I can do all the commands, look. So they tend to do this. They'll go, I'm off duty. They're gonna get less uh, reactive with that excitement. He's got, literally got numbers on his. Uh... He's got a tattoo from Prague. That's pretty cool. It's a little weird, but. I've never seen a dog with a tattoo in his ear. I have not either. Like, are you a Holocaust survivor? <laughs> You've got numbers on you? Way to go. Okay, and just tell Bo down, off, down. That's it, you're good. Good job. But this would have typically been a, maybe a five TCM because there's all these different things happening. But if you put Bo in a down and a calm situation, there is no reaction. Now over there, you can see they're all trying to say hello, all the dogs are reacting, and then it turns into this like, the dogs are gonna start communicating. So either the humans can socialize or the dog can socialize. Right now, we want the humans to socialize, so we tell the dog to go into a down, we tell the dog off. So right now he's kind of locked on, and I'd rather he's not. So say off. Yeah. Off. Down. See how he just rotated to look at you? That's good. And that's all it is. Oh, off. Good to see ya. Oh. Good job. Always. <laughs> right? This is everybody's favorite time to walk dogs. Down. Good job, Buff. Yeah, you can down. There you go. He's good enough. You only need it some of the time, so he'll just do it. He's good enough. If I say down again, he'll drop his head. Watch. Down. Good job, Poe. 
<laughs> you're so funny. Oh, you're gonna keep it down. Okay, okay. Break. All right, walk him over there in a break. He can do whatever he wants. And if the dog is doing what it's doing right now, which is, I'm good, Dad. I'll just kind of follow you. So now start to get the dog into a heel, come back into the street. Don't use the leash and just tell him to come. Press the button, 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 button. Let's do a loop around your neighborhood like I'm timing you. Walk with a, uh, like a sense of urgency. It was easy last week because it was raining. Just tell him down. Button, 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 down. So one thing that we worked on is getting the dog to flip in. So once you have, I have the dog's attention, I've got it in a heel. Now what I want you to do is come towards me. I'll stay on that down. Just come down. And then you're going to walk right here. And right when you get here, you're gonna say heel, press the button, get the dog to flip right in. So that way you can start using some downs, some sits, and you can do this exercise with both of those commands. I mean, the one thing we've used a ton is, is yep. You can overlay some of your commands all day long. Perfect. And then sit him immediately after he does it. So that way he kind of understands where he's supposed to land. And then now you can put him in a down again. So. Again, if this is the straight line the dog should be at and we see that it's curving, I don't want to allow this circle to completely follow and then the dog would be here. We want to almost force the dog to kind of recreate what we want and kind of fix it. That button is just like finding a heart rate or a pulse. It's just keeping that dog in sync with you. And ultimately, the reason why you want to get so good with this e-collar is, let's say your wife is a dog and you know it's going to react to it. Guess what? Your first go-to is sit off and you use the button versus grab the leash and hold on tight. You know? Yep. It's like one's preventative and one is waiting for a reaction and then preparing for that reaction. It's like this right now. Yep. So for instance, say sit. sit. Down. Sit down, down, press it three times. Walk over to your wife. Tell the dog, down. sit down. You can give her a hug. Dog needs to wait. Keep it PG, you're on camera. <laughs> now tell him to come, there you go. Mom! It's like a big bear. Oh, I know. All right, you ready? Power is all yours. Oh, oh boy. Think about every time your foot lands, it's almost like the downbeat. And bump, 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 dump, bump, bump, bump. Make sure you're pressing the button when you hit that dump, dump, bump, bump, bump. And now you two are walking in sync to the same downbeat. You just keep pressing that button every other couple beats. And that way you're continuing to communicate. He's sticking with you. And you have an opportunity to kind of look straight ahead and see what's coming. And for the most part, you could close your eyes and as long as you're bump, 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 pressing that button, the dog's gonna stick right with you and you're good to go. If he starts to get ahead, press it three times. For the most part, he's in sync with you. So you could just press it once every two seconds or two steps. And literally, every time your foot hits the ground, that's when you're gonna like press the button. And eventually, your foot becomes the button, that downbeat that the dog's following. And if you notice, your guys' feet are perfectly, every time you take a step, you're taking a step, the dog's taking a step, the feet are at sync, it's beautiful. And then after you've kind of started to walk with this purpose, now I want you to slow it down. Press the button three times. Bow, button, button, button. And now you're gonna slow the tempo down and still keep the dog with you and see how your slowness is going to 
It's all right. He sees Dad. So keep walking. Pull the collar if he's scratching at it and he's tangled. And just keep walking, say heel. You can drop the leash. Good. Button, 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 button. You might need to go up. If he's not responding to it as well, or he's starting to get ahead, or if you feel like you're pressing it more than you were, all those little things kind of go into play. And you're good. Just keep that rhythm. Bomb. Good. Good. And watch this, tell him down. Button, 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 down. Yeah. And then go walk over to the other side of the street. Maybe you want to say hello to the kids. Maybe we want to use those as a distraction. Whatever it is, all you have to do is stop his motion, and now he's frozen. If this is freeze tag, up, oh, frozen. And now I can go do whatever I want. And that's the beauty of it. So if you know that you can freeze your dog and he's not going to react and there's nothing that's going to happen, you're now good to go. Now what I want you to do is I want you to walk over to that corner. When you get over that corner, just say heel. Then he'll come running up and go into a heel. And now, tell him heel. Keep walking. Just keep walking. Keep walking. He'll find a spot. Button, 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 button. Slow him down as he gets to you. And then now find your groove. Good. Button, button, button. He's just seeing, so now that you've gone from, there's a path that we're walking on to, well, this is kind of like a park area. Yeah. All it is, is you could just go like this, heel and stick the dog right to you. Tell him to heel and just keep walking. Oh, heel. If you stop walking, the dog is going to kind of slow down. And if you need to, you can grab the leash and reattach the magnet, if you will, and then drop it once you've gotten him back in communication. So I want you to actually make a right turn and I want you to kind of do a loop. He might also have to go poop or pee. That could be why he's sniffing at an hour. And then don't let him get on the grass. Grass is lava. Keep him with you, keep him with you, keep him with you, button. Tell him to come, tell him to come. Heel. Good job, good job, good job. He survived. Great job.